Hi, I'm Pete Forsyth with Wiki Strategies, and on the occasion of Wikipedia's 15th birthday, which happens January 15th, uh, 2016, uh, we're putting together a series of 15 video interviews with various thought leaders uh, who are not necessarily of the Wikipedia movement, but who have done important work in various areas uh, in the, uh, out in the world. And so for my first interview here, my guest is Cephas Uncle Bobby Johnson. Uh, uncle Bobby is uh, Oscar Grant's uncle. Oscar Grant, for those who don't know, uh, was a young man who was killed by police uh, on New Year's Day 2009 in Oakland, California. And uh, I just want to have a little conversation with Uncle Bobby and get a sense of what does Wikipedia look like uh, from his perspective and how do the dynamics of, of Wikipedia uh, look compared to the, the work that he's done and, uh, and what might the future hold for Wikipedia. So Uncle Bobby, why don't you tell us a little bit about, about your background? Well, I am, uh, as P said, the uncle of Oscar Grant. Oscar's mother, Wanda, is my baby sister. And of course, Oscar's my very first nephew. On January 1st, 2009, at the Fruitville Bark Station, uh, he was murdered by Johannes Mesley. Um, there where, of course, the community came together, uh, spoke to this issue, uh, rallied protests, went back and forth to court. But most importantly, you utilize the First Amendment right to speak to that injustice. And for the first time in California state history, an officer was arrested, charged, convicted, and sent to jail. Um, one of the things that I can say about Wikipedia when it came to the reporting of that incident with Oscar was that I was troubled at first um, and, you know, went to make some attempts to address some of the concerns and, uh, and since has learned that there is a uh, a, a talky piece or a conversation piece about the discrepancies that one can, um, you know, basically, yeah. yeah, one can address mm -hmm. these issues. I've uh, learned uh, the process of how to do that now. Uh, so I, I would say I think Wikipedia has uh, come a long ways compared to what I first saw when um, Oscar was murdered and the trouble that I had in understanding how Wikipedia would share stories. Okay. Well, that's and so we were we were talking a little bit earlier, and we were we were talking both about the uh, the article about the shooting of your nephew, uh, but also more generally about your experience with Wikipedia. And so uh, maybe you could speak a little bit to what 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 do you think has been the impact of Wikipedia uh, over the last fifteen years? How is the world different? Maybe better? Maybe a little more chaotic uh, with Wikipedia in it? Uh, just in in terms of the general things you've looked up and read about. I would say uh, definitely in the last 15 years, one can have a question about something mm -hmm. or uh, see a particular issue and, uh, you know, not just Google it, but can go to Wikipedia mm -hmm. to read a little bit more in detail about it. Um, you know, and so I, I believe knowledge has become so available in a sense through Wikipedia that it helps one to begin to understand this world in general right. on, on a grander basis. And so, of course, you know, some of the concerns can always be, well, who's telling the story right. and, and what perspective are they giving? But at the same time, one can then do the research mm -hmm. to collaborate or disagree with the story in itself right. and then actually pose through the Wikipedia process of the talking and, and fixing those discrepancies. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I would imagine in the, the world I grew up in before Wikipedia, it's, if, if, if something like that terrible shooting happened and I went back to visit, you know, my friends and family where I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts, even let alone Europe or something like that, I might say the name Oscar Grant and nobody would have any idea what I was talking about. So is, you know, I think Wikipedia, I think a lot of things that have happened on the internet in the last 15 years or so have probably fed into stories like that becoming more widely known. But it seems like Wikipedia is a part of that, right? You've got YouTube, you've got Twitter, yes, but. Right, I, I, I would definitely agree. I believe that Wikipedia has become also a source for one to gather information concerning a particular topic or, yeah. uh, you know, something that they question. Yeah, okay. So uh, another another aspect that I'm, I'm really looking forward to talking about is Wikipedia is, of course, it's built by hundreds of thousands of people around the world, uh, you know, volunteers working out of their own interests and their own passion. Um, and so, you know, I, I feel like there there have to be some parallels in the way that people work together in Wikipedia and the way that people work together in the social justice movement 
uh, and in, in doing uh, protests and memorials and uh, supporting one another. And so I'm, I'm curious, uh, well, I guess before we get into anything specific, do you, do you see those kinds of parallels? Do you, or do you imagine those kind of parallels? Uh, I, I would say yes. Um, you know, Wikipedia can share, you know, the experience of a family that have suffered, uh, we'll just say the police murder in particular. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it would help that family uh, once they understand how Wikipedia works to share yeah. information about their loved one that was killed in a, in a sense of through the family relationship or who that person was besides just being an object within with Wikipedia that happened to experience a murder. Right. Okay. So, so how about where, like, like obviously uh, working together is sometimes great and it's sometimes messy. So, you know, with Wikipedia, what will often happen is probably in the article about your nephew, um, you know, and, and many other articles, people have a disagreement and sometimes they work together and kind of resolve that. They'll, they'll look at like, what are the different sources that talk about this thing? And they'll come to some kind of agreement. Other times they don't. So is that the kind of issue that you deal with as well? Maybe, maybe putting together uh, an event that's supposed to be more of a memorial and then someone comes and wants to protest something that's different than what you had in mind? Uh, exactly. I mean, you know, uh, when we compare to Wikipedia and those that may say this particular subject matter is not as accurate as it should be, right. there's the same occurrence that we have in the real world when it comes to uh, dealing with an issue concerning, say, a, road, a protest or a rally. Yeah. Um, you know, what kind of way this rally should be or yeah. what kind of direction the protest should go in. And there will be others that may come in and feel it should go a different way. Right. And then we have to go yeah. through the process of working that out yeah. so that we all can be in the same spirit and get fact, the process done. Right. And you had a really compelling story about maybe the first time you really dealt with that that we talked about earlier. Right, right. You know, and that story was when an Oscar was first murdered and the case got moved to L.A. Yeah. Um, our case was put right next door to Michael um, Jackson's um, case, uh, Conrad Murray, who uh, the doctor that right. allegedly murdered Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, when we came down at the recess from both the, the court hearings, uh, the community of Michael Jackson was there and mm -hmm. they wanted that issue to be heard yeah. and the world to know that he had a great fan base. Right. And we also had a nephew, Oscar Grant, who was murdered by the police. And we wanted the world to know yeah. that we had a loved one, that we wanted the world to know that suffered a heinous crime by police murder. Right. And so the two groups, of course, um, had disagreement on how to make this happen, but came to make this happen in a way that was uh, very, uh, I think, positive because the Jacksons mm -hmm. then realized that the importance of Oscar to us, right. though he was not known to the world like Michael was, but yet he was a human being that had rights to be heard just like Michael. Right, right, okay. And so, you know, we also talk a little bit about how uh, sometimes you wanna, you wanna work things like that out in a bit of privacy, so that because you have sort of a message that you're trying to focus on and you don't want to be showing a lot of discord out there, but sometimes it kind of creeps in and it becomes more public than you want it to. So uh, what, yes. That, when's that, the time when, when it got a little bit more like that? Right. Um, there are times when you have uh, um, people interested in doing a particular action yeah. that may be totally against the family's views on that action. However, mm -hmm. Uh, to not to take away from the movement in itself, you know, these um, um, he, um, these these conversation has to be taken up yeah. in a uh, in a in a like a town hall meeting. Yeah. Or not so much in the. Public. So you have maybe a planning event, and then you have the event event. Is exactly. That sort of how exactly. Okay. Okay. And you work well, that. I think is very familiar. That's sort of like the talk page in the article on Wikipedia. Right. Right. I mean, right. which like on Wikipedia, they're both visible to the public. But mm -hmm. you know, as as we even just saw here, like you you weren't particularly aware of the talk page until we started talking. So, exactly. Yeah. You know, and you learn about that, and then you work things out yeah. in this way. It don't be a, a a chaotic discourse in the movement in itself yeah. because you hashed all that out before it actually took place. Okay. Well, uh, I think uh, last. Last question before we uh, before we move on. Uh, what do you when you look at something like Wikipedia that has this this big aspiration to make it possible for everyone on the planet to share in knowledge and information? Uh, what do you hope to see from Wikipedia in the next fifteen years or the next five years? What's uh, how do you think that Wikipedia could best serve that goal of helping the world? 
uh, have better access to information and participate? I would say um, definitely first, uh, letting it be known to the community, to the world, yeah. that everyone has an opportunity to be a part of Wikipedia and yeah. sharing a piece. I mean, the whole idea is to always remember that organized lies are more powerful than unorganized truth. And so we mm -hmm. must speak truth in order to bring real clarity to the issues, especially social issues that we're dealing with today. And I would say uh, going forward in the next 15 years, with that in focus and bringing mm -hmm. truth to bring about change and real freedom, justice, and equality for all, yeah. um, there's an opportunity, a great opportunity for that to happen. You know, and just a matter of working out the, the, the nuances of the issue concerning what is truth and what is not yeah. truth. And then how to bring truth in to really radiate the uh, to the world what's real. Okay. Well, I think that's a great moment to end on. Uh, thank you so much for talking about this. And we will be talking uh, next weekend on Saturday, the 16th of January. We're going to have a panel discussion. So we'll be able to dig into this stuff a little bit more. And that will be on video as well. So okay. thanks for watching. Thank you, Pete.